Church kids, welcome to another Sunday morning service here with us at Hope Church. Um, it's Sunday the 28th of February, which means it's the last Sunday in February. In fact, it's the last day in February. Tomorrow is March. Who can believe it's March already? And we're only a week away from going back to school. I hope you're excited. I am. Can't wait to get back to school uh, and carry on with some lessons, do some learning, uh, see some friends uh, and have a good time. So lots to look forward to. Today, we've got lots planned for you as normal. We've got a few different faces for you, uh, people to see that you haven't perhaps seen before or haven't heard from in the same way. Uh, we're gonna do a challenge as always. Uh, we've got some big questions uh, from Pam and Bernard. Uh, we've got memory verse and we've got worship and we've got prayer. Uh, it's lots to lots to get you through uh, this morning. So hope you're ready, hope you're excited. Uh, let's go off and see uh, what this week's challenge is. Hi Pam, um, we're here for this week's chat. Hello, good to see you. Uh, great work on the last one, by the way, the Valentine's Day. All those hearts, very, very impressive. I only got a handful, so well done <laughs> on that. Um, so what's this week's challenge? So this week's challenge, um, I, I don't know what it's called, some sort of whisper challenge. <laughs> Let's call it the whisper challenge. Great. So... Um, one person has to put headphones on and listen to loud music so they can't hear anything. Okay. The other person has to whisper something so the audience can hear. And the person with the headphones on has to guess what the phrase is. Okay. Does that make yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay. Right. So do you want to go first or shall I go first? Yeah, let, I'll just say that we've we've made a theme, haven't we? We have, yes. We have got a theme. Food. <laughs> Food related state state sentences. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. All right. Okay. So, okay. Shall I so go first? Gonna... Yeah. Right, I'll tell you when I've got the music playing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it three times, okay? Okay, each one and then do the second one, yeah? Okay. Or we'll take it in turns. Okay, all right. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Fish and chips. Do you want to guess? Fish and chips. Yes! <laughs> yes! Well done! Okay, great. That's good. I think you made it really clear when you went, fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. It's my go. You, you. We, switch, we switch over. Okay. Let like, me know when it. you're ready. Oh. Hang on. We'll just wait while Pam sorts herself out. <laughs> hey <laughs> technical hitch that's all right should we do you again yeah if you want yeah okay chocolate chip cookies <laughs> chocolate chip cookies Chocolate <laughs> chip cookies. Okay. I think the first word's chocolate, and then I want to say trifle. <laughs> no. Okay. Should I tell you what it was? Go on then, yeah. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, close. Maybe half a close. point. Close. Half point. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Is your music ready now, Pam? Okay. Got me some music. Oh, yeah. Chicken. Fajitas. Chicken fajitas. Chicken fajitas. I reckon it's chicken fajitas. Yeah, great. Yay. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm I'll going give again. One more. Go on, give me one more and I'll just think about it. Um, okay, ready? Strawberry blancmange. Strawberry blancmange. Last one. Strawberry blancmange. <laughs> Go on. I reckon. Yep. It was strawberry blancmange. Oh, you got the last bit as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I honestly couldn't hear you. That music no. was so loud. <laughs> no cheating. Right. So you got both yours and I got one and a half. So I reckon that means you win again this week, Pam. Yeah. That makes it 11 9. Well done. Really, well done. It was a good challenge, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I like that one. But that's a good one yeah. for um, uh, kids to send in. Uh, so definitely. If you, uh, definitely, kids, if you have a go at this, uh, perhaps record it with your friends uh, uh, or your or your siblings uh, and then send it in you can do food ones or you can do other uh, whispers uh, so that's great 11 9 to you pam 11 9 um wait so what's over... happening now well we're going to go to the memory verse uh, we've got someone okay. else uh, doing the memory verse this week and then we've got somebody different as well explaining the memory verse that's quite exciting uh, so Brilliant. let's go over and do that now hey okay. kids so, so this week's memory verse is from john chapter 8 verse 12 and it goes it's when jesus says i am the light of the world and there's three actions in this one today so the first action is I am so point to yourself I am next one is the light so wiggle your fingers for the light and then the third action is the world just make a big circle with your hands like that and then all together all the actions are I am the light of the world John chapter 8 verse 12 Hey kids, so today we're going to be looking at John 8, 12, and it says, I am the light of the world. No, not me, I am not the light of the world, but none other than Jesus himself said that. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Now, what does this mean? What does it mean when Jesus says, I am the light of the world? Well, Imagine a dark room, a really dark room, and you can't see anything, and you're scared, and you're lonely, and you're surrounded with all this darkness and bad things. And then suddenly, a light turns on, and all the darkness just creeps away. That light is Jesus. Jesus is the good thing in this world that makes all the badness go away. All the bad things like sickness, fighting, mean words, your little sister or brother being annoying to you. He makes everything good and all the bad things go away. But he's not just a good thing. He's not like a light or he's not like a candle. He is the light of the world. That means that he is the one truly perfect good thing and that without him there would be nothing but badness and darkness and only through Jesus is there any good and any light. Well thank you Morgan for explaining uh, this week's memory verse. Uh, we're now going to go into a time of prayer and worship uh, as we always do uh, time to really reflect on uh, what Morgan just said and to think about that verse. Uh, and then after we've had some time to, to pray and take a moment to ourselves, uh, we're going to have some time for, for some worship, an opportunity to get up and sing, uh, dance if you wish, and just really enjoy yourself. And then after that, uh, we've got Pam uh, and Bernard for some big questions. Uh, so let's just take a moment now uh, together to pray. Upon the shore 
Your love pursues me more and more Your love pursues me Like a stone that has been honed at sea Your constant love is changing me Your love it changes me Open my eyes to see you Open my ears to hear you Open my heart to love you Every day in every way Open my eyes to see you Open my ears to hear you Open my heart to love you Every day in every way Sit upon the shore Your love pursues me more and more Your love pursues me Like a stone that has been honed at sea Your constant love is changing me Your love it changes me Open my eyes to see you Your love is never ending Your grace is all abounding Your mercy never fails Your love is never ending Your grace is all abounding Your mercy never fails Open my eyes to see Open my ears to hear you Open my heart to love you Every day and every way Open my eyes to see you Open my ears to hear you Open my heart to love you Every day and every way Bernard. Looks like you're enjoying your biscuit. Oh, what's Lent? Well, Lent is the 40 days before Easter Sunday, not including Sundays. And it's also a time in the Bible where Jesus went to the desert and he did some fasting and praying. What's fasting? Well, fasting is when you give up food for 40 days. You don't think you can do that? Some people just do it for 24 hours. Do you think you could do that? No. Okay. Well, when Jesus was in the, in the desert, he became very, very close to his Father God. And then after the 40 days, Satan came and he tried to tempt Jesus to sin. Yes, but because he was so um, good at his praying and was so close to his Father God, he did not sin. And some people remember this time and they sometimes give something up to spend more time praying and reading the Bible. 
You think you could give something up, Bernard? You could. What are you going to give up? Your pen. Well, I don't think that's going to make much difference, Bernard, is it, if you give up your pen? Is there anything else you think you could give up? What? You've got something very special. Wait a sec, go and find it. <laughs> your favourite egg? I don't think you should do that, Bernard. I think you should keep your, your favourite egg. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Put that down there. You got another idea? One more thing? Okay, what is it? You go and get it. I'll move the biscuits out of the way. Oh! Oh, Bernard. I don't think you could give up your favourite toy, could you? Do you think you could? No, you don't think you could. What, just for an hour? Maybe, maybe just for, just for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Maybe it shouldn't be about giving something up. Maybe you could do something nice for somebody, Bernard. Like spend time with a special friend. That might be something you could do during Lent. Or think about things that you are thankful for. Do you think you could spend some time with a friend? You could. Okay, well you go and do that then. And I'm going to say thank you everybody for joining us this morning. And I hope you have a really good day. And it's bye from me. And it's bye from Bernard and your friend Red Dragon. Bye.